Hi everyone and welcome back to a brand new vlog series! Hello! So we are off to Efteling! We are! So we have very kindly been gifted our travel today with Le Shuttle and also we've been uh, given a stay by Efteling, uh, including park tickets, which is just incredible. So thank you so much. Huge, huge thank you. We are so excited and we're going to be vlogging the whole trip. So make sure you're subscribed, hit that notification bell uh, because we're going to be uploading a lot of vlogs. Yeah, we're excited to share what we find. So we are just arriving at Le Shuttle now. It's been a lovely journey and it's already light. I can't believe it. I know. You know when we normally travel here and it's pitch black. I know and it's it's five to five <laughs> and it's, it's, it's light, which is really nice. Um, makes us feel like, you know, the day has started. Yeah, it's and, also nicer to drive in. Yeah, and yeah, just arrived at Le Shuttle. So we will show you the entrance here. should detect the car and I feel like I'm parked quite far away. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am parked Mr. far away. Bell, and then you just click on confirm. We know pets. They'll ask you a few uh, simple questions. It's really, really quick, really easy. And especially if you get one of these earlier Euro tunnels, it's okay. always super fast. 39 minutes, so we can grab ourselves a drink. Amazing. And then you'll get a little departure hanger. H5. It will have a letter and a number on it, and then this just corresponds with when they call you to uh, board. So you just hang this up, up here. I'll show you in a second. Uh, but yeah, just keep, keep hold of this. So it just hangs here. And then we always love to park in front of the big display. <laughs> <laughs> so we are H5, um, so we're not up there at the moment, um, but this is where you will look and then it will tell you when to depart. But we always try and stop right in front of the display and we always love it when um, you send us pictures and videos <laughs> of um, when you're traveling on the shuttle and you also manage to park here. Yeah. And if someone else is parked here, we're like, oh, this is our spot. Oh, sad. Or you might be wondering why we keep calling uh, Eurotunnel Le Shuttle. It's because they've actually gone through rebranding. So their name has changed. So it's no longer Eurotunnel, it's now Le Shuttle. So if we mention Le Shuttle, that's what we're talking about. <laughs> Another Le Shuttle tradition is that whenever we park up, Martin always does the Euro light beam reflectors. <laughs> So we always love arriving maybe like half an hour early yeah. if possible just so that we can enjoy the terminal uh, martin's driving so he can have a little relax uh, we normally pick up a coffee and a tea and some croissants but they have duty free inside of here they also have a wh smith and um, they've got a big screen up here so you can keep track of when your number's called and then they have a starbucks they also have a few other food courts. They've got a Leon, a Burger King, and also a bar and cafe as well. So lots you can eat at and drink at and also shop at. They've also got a pet lounge. I love that you can bring your pets along with you. Yeah, they can come with you on your hollybobs. Can I get a duck then? <laughs> So we're on board, we're moving on the shuttle and we are heading over to Calais. Uh, we said at the beginning of this we've been very kindly gifted the travel uh, from the shuttle so thank you so much for that. We love using it. We've used it many many times for previous trips. We love how quick it is, uh, the quickest way to get over to Calais by car. 
35 minutes. I know, and you're there. And also the price is really affordable because it's a price per vehicle. Yeah. So it, it includes all of the passengers. Um, so we find it a really affordable way to travel, um, especially if you're traveling in a large group as well, because <laughs> if you can all fit in one car. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And also we love the fact that you can pack as much as you want. Yeah, uh, I do like that. And you don't have any like fear when you're on holiday of um, as long as it can fit in the car, yeah. you can get it back. And that was, uh, that was true of this trip actually because I didn't know what to pack and I think I overpacked because I wasn't sure what the weather was going to be like so yeah. that's where I'm glad that we don't have the weight allowance. <laughs> and then also what's great as a driver is that it makes it really easy in the way of like it's motorway to motorway and what, what I really love is just the amount of destinations that you can get to as well. I feel uh, like we've only scratched the surface of this Yeah. and especially what's lovely about this trip is we are going somewhere new mm -hmm. and uh, of course we'll document it, we'll document um, how easy it is to drive to Efteling yeah. but there are just so many destinations that you can get to, some which are only like an hour away. Yeah, so I have downloaded, because uh, it's 35 minutes, I try and download something that's about half an hour in length to watch. So I've just downloaded a couple of episodes of Miranda. That's so random. <laughs> Martin said to me this morning, no, was it last, last night? night? You were like, what do you want me to download for the shuttle? And I was like, oh, I don't know, you surprised me. <laughs> <laughs> Drive on the right. That was so fast. We didn't even manage to finish the episode of Miranda. <laughs> so it's 35 minutes um, straight to Calais, and we really like getting an earlier Euro Tunnel. So it is now, with the time difference, it is 8 11 in France. Um, so we really like getting on. I think that one there was six the 20, 20. past 6 um, UK time from Folkestone but they have very frequent departures all throughout the day all throughout the night so you can really plan your trip around the timings that you want but we like getting the earlier one so that we're in Calais bright and early and now we can drive to our destination Just because I'm in love with road trip songs are on <laughs> let's go just stopped at the services on the way and look at these lays. Look at these flavours. Tomato ketchup flavour, pickle, classic burger. <laughs> so we have about an hour, well, two about hours. Two hours, one hour, 55 minutes to be exact. So we're getting there and we quickly stopped off at the services and we couldn't resist. I'm gonna try these cheese, oh no, classic burger flavor because we don't think we tried these. <laughs> Martin thinks he's tried the tomato ketchup ones before. I think like, is it around Christmas where they used to bring out like different flavors? Ah. I think that, I think there has been tomato before. But Lay's crisps just remind me of holiday. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna carry on driving and we will update you in a bit. It's been a nice easy drive. It's just been motorway yeah, again. Yes. So, uh, but a bit, a bit of greenery around, which is quite nice. Taste test. These do t taste like a burger. <laughs> <laughs> They're really good. <laughs> <laughs> we're here, we're driving in. We've gone to the resort first because we're thinking of parking the car there yes. and then walking over to the theme park. So we are heading to Village Bosrak now. I can hear the screams of people <laughs> on rides. <laughs> oh look, yeah, look. Oh, yeah, sneak peek. You can see some. Well, I think it's uh, like a 10-minute walk from the hotel. Yeah. So we thought, um, as I was saying just before, we're thinking of parking at the hotel that we're staying at and then walking over. And then when we come back, the car's already there and then we can just check in and everything. Yeah. From uh, Check-ins from four and we'll get a notification on our phone and then we can use the phone as our yes. room key. Wow, look at this. That looks incredible. How like tranquil does it feel already? <laughs> like you're just surrounded by woodland and ah, oh, it looks magical already. 
we're all parked up. That just, that looks amazing. I can't believe we're here after years of saying we really want to come. It feels surreal, doesn't it? <laughs> so now we are on the hunt for the entrance to the park and then we'll go to the hotel later on. We just came to get a closer look. <laughs> it's too tempting to look at it. And it says that Efteling Park is back that way. weather today couldn't be any better. I know. <laughs> Hope I haven't jinxed it. <laughs> but uh, it was like really cloudy for most of the drive and then yeah. we got within about an hour of here and the sun came up. So that was a lovely walk from Hotel Bozrak. I mean barely like five minutes. Yeah five ten minutes. And here we are. Wow. It's so surreal to be stood outside of the entrance. <laughs> it's so grand. And can you see the stained glass windows? Oh the stained glass windows. Oh it's beautiful. <laughs> Oh, the quill's moving. It's right in on its own. So I'm guessing this is the main car park. And then there's the entrance. So we've entered, we are inside. I'm so excited. There's a shop here, which bodes well for our buy a souvenir We're definitely part. Definitely gonna of the go in there list. later. <laughs> so over here, they've got the Theatre de Efteling where Caro is on which looks like an amazing show and we actually looked into it but the days that we are here it's not actually on so we're already gonna have to come back to do something i know <laughs> it gives us a reason to come back <laughs> so this is it so there's a extra charge for it and it is an enchanting family show at efteling you got aerial performers there it looked so good from the videos that i saw so I'm not sure you can see because it's very sunny, um, but this app is great. It has a map on it, which is great if it's your first time like us because you can see where everything is. And also we used it for our tickets to get in. It's got loads on it. This is beautiful. This is, isn't it? And the music is, is very, where, very magical. This is where Aquanura is yes. uh, later on today. <laughs> also, just it to... doesn't seem too busy at the moment. I look no. at all this space. I love all the detail. I mean, we're probably a bit overwhelmed right now, <laughs> um, but we're going to do a proper I like, explore over I feel the next like I'm few in a fairy days. Tale. Like yeah. I'm in a fairy tale village. Yeah, me too. I'm one of the residents. <laughs> and I think this is the first ride we're going to go on. Uh, I'm having a look at the itinerary. So, <laughs> twelve to one, Efteling arrival. Are we within that? What yeah, ten to it? one. Ten to one. That's good. <laughs> Fata Morgana, which I believe is over here. It's a dark ride, and it's a boat ride through the Forbidden City. <gasps> let's go! Let's go! So a notification just popped up on your phone. Yeah, to play a game. <laughs> That's fun. It's like really interactive. Sense that you're in this particular area. That's about interactive queue game. Oh. That's really good for um, children as well to keep them occupied and yeah. adults alike in the uh, in the queues. <laughs> Fata Morgana, dark ride through the Forbidden City of One Thousand and One Nights. So it is naught minutes. Awesome. First ride at Efteling. Sesame.
did our first ride, Fata Morgana. I like, I was amazed with the length of it. Yeah, it was really long actually. I felt like it was a great amount of time that you were on there. Yeah. There were so many different scenes. There were so many things that like caught me by surprise. Yeah, there's a little <laughs> bit in it which is a bit scary as well. It got very dark. <laughs> <laughs> I was the one that wasn't scared for <laughs> once. <laughs> so we're just heading round to do our next ride, which is Max and Moritz. But we've noticed that like, so as we came out here, and we were heading that way and then we turned to the right and like there's so much like gorgeous garden that you can walk around a bridge, a bridge over yeah. here and um efteling is only 11 percent rides yeah. so there is just so much more to explore as well as rides so this is this is where helena really wants to go this is I the know. bakery i'm trying to hold off because we have a um we a got a reservation yeah uh, for pancakes but I definitely need to go there. <laughs> oh, there's, a, there's a picture on the wall. Let's have a look. Oh, here's a little selection of what you can get. Pretzels, croissants. There's loads of places to eat. There's a burger place over here. Oh, is that Max and Moritz? There's two of them. Oh, look. They're trying to steal. <laughs> They're trying to steal the chickens. I have heard that they get up to no good. So this is a family dueling coaster ride. So there's two that we can go on. And the background to it is we're trying to escape the cuckoo clock workshop. So cute. We got whoopee cushions. You ready? <laughs> and I think the plan is you're supposed to try and play out the tune oh, yeah. with the different colours. <laughs> Max and Moritz, we need to stop it. Max and Moritz. We're going to start off with Max, we think. I like the music. <laughs> and then we get we're gonna go around again. So we just went on the max version of that uh, coaster. Really good fun, I love that. It's so good. And so you go around twice, but then on the second time, the music that's playing, I noticed it on the second time uh, going around, it got quicker. So when the music got quicker, the ride also the ride got a bit quicker. quicker. <laughs> it's really good. It's like the perfect family roller coaster, I'd say. Yeah. Back round we go, and we're gonna go on Maritz. Also, if you want to know about all the different characters, it tells you if you go to the Efteling website, there's a whole page dedicated to it. So it tells you about everyone who's involved in this world. Woohoo! 
escape the cuckoo clock workshop. <laughs> Say that fast. <laughs> I love all the detail. So actually there on the platform you had Max and Maritz, they were actually uh, pedalling. Pedalling. To indeed. get the roller coaster. Yeah, I definitely say in that one, always look up. Because there was a few little hidden gems. Yeah. What was your favourite? The Bukashi one. Maritz, yeah. Oh, yeah. Same as me. So we've got here vending machines, and inside the vending machines are different snacks. Do you want to have a <laughs> cheeky spring roll before pancakes? You want to try? Yeah? Let's or, see how it operates. What, what else would you like? No, no, I'm fine with a spring roll. Spring roll. Do you want a spring roll? Which one opened? Which one was it? This hey. one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's hot. Nice. They're like little ovens. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> amazed. <laughs> it's like something out of the future. <laughs> so we found a shaded spot to enjoy our spring roll. So this was two euros twenty. Helena's gone for it. Nice spring roll is nice and warm. Yeah, oh, it's amazed me. <laughs> so it has a bit of a kick to it. <laughs> I didn't think it was that spicy, but Martin seems to think it's quite spicy. <laughs> I can feel it on my tongue. It's lovely, but I'm really not good with spice. It's very nice, but yeah, afterwards it has a little bit of a spice kick. So if you like spicy food, the spring roll's good. I'm also enjoying that the chickens are singing. <laughs> Hello. We still keep my beer here. Yeah, we keep everything clean. Hello. <laughs> He was aggressive. <laughs> he was. He really was. He really, he really that. took that. <laughs> Heading on to the next, but I just wanted to say to this chicken, well done. It was a great performance. I enjoyed listening to your different songs. It's such a fun park. I'm having a fantastic time already. It's fun as well as quite relaxing. Like yeah. I'm finding it very chill and tranquil and like magical, fairy tale like. Yeah. But there's just there's something for everyone. Fun for all the family. <laughs> for the children and then for us grown-ups yeah, as well. to be fair, I've seen all kinds of ages. I've seen couples, I've seen like older adults, I've seen um, like grandparents and children, yeah. I've seen families. It was amazing to think that we were at home this morning and then in just a few hours from Calais, <laughs> we are here in this glorious place. <laughs> And I don't think I mentioned the drive, but yeah, it was, a, it was a good drive. It was just motorway and motorway, so very easy. And there were plenty of stops along the way. I've just noticed that all the lights are the, I think they're the shape of Pardus, the jester. I'm so excited to ride this. So this is Symbolica. This was opened in 2017, I think I read mm -hmm. online. I'm so excited. So this is an enchanting palace where things are not as they seem. Ik heb een veel leuker idee. Geen audiëntie, geen regels. Maar ga met mij mee. Nee, nee, nee. Een reis door vertrekken vol magie. Het heet hier niet voor niets het paleis der fantasie. Oh, to one through the palace of fantasy. No, 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 no. Op in the rots. Denk aan de regels. Transito, culto, fabulu. Traag treden, open u. Oh, so you've got to choose a tour. We think we've been told to do this one. Wow. That's so cool.
Ik heb iets slims bedacht. We bundelen onze kracht. Druk zoveel als je kan op het knopje hiervoor. Doe goed je best en de tour gaat weer door. Heel goed. Blijven drukken. Illumina Fantasia. A pardus. I want one now after that ride. <laughs> 40 euros here. It's a bit harder and then there's a soft, there's a plush. That's so cute. They've even got like toy figurine sets, that's cool. Look, you can get um, a symbolic, uh, um, what do you call it? Diffuser. Diffuser. And that's then nice. key rings as well. This is one of Pardu's things that he goes... <laughs> I didn't realise Helena got a bit soaked from the uh, whale. <laughs> the whale trying to break free. Guys, that ride. That was the most beautiful ride I've ever been on. <laughs> that was stunning. It's sunny. <laughs> yeah, I had to put my sunglasses on. Um, one of the best dark rides I've ever been on. That was beautiful. It was visually from start stunning. To finish. I can't even say what my favourite part was. I was. I, just, I kept going, wow, wow. Yeah, wow. I was in awe of just like even the first room where yeah. with all the planets. We'll have to go back and try each yeah. um, tour. But yeah, it was beautiful. I want to go on really, it again. Really, really stunning. <laughs> oh, and then over there. We're not sure at the moment, but we'll try and show it at some point. Uh, there's a, like a cash machine, but it's a big giant treasure chest. We're going to go. It's so cool here. <laughs> there's so many like random, amazing like details yeah. but right this is gonna be my favorite part of the trip i feel you saw the banquet at the end there with pardus and the king well that's gonna be hell now pancakes <laughs> oh savory pancakes sweet pancakes oh. <laughs> so here it is come out of symbolica and then it's directly in front of you oh by the way we apologize profusely if we get any of these uh, pronunciations wrong uh, if you want to let us know like how to correct that for future trips uh, let us know in the comments like how you phonetically say these things and then we'll be sure to like use that in the future This magic place can be found in Symbolica, the empire of imagination, the magical world of Pardus, the magic jester and Princess Pargin. Aha, here we can learn about the different characters. Pardus, the magic jester, King Pardolphus, Princess Pargin, great magician Alma. Yeah, we saw, oh, him, we saw him. Symbolica a lot. Yeah. Alisiana, Rata, Pantagor's lackey, Paul the cook's mate, Pantagor, master of dark evil. No. So I've gone for the ham and cheese savory pancake, and then Helena's gone for the vanilla ice cream, chocolate sauce, and whipped cream. I don't know whether I've even had a savoury pancake before. I don't think I have. It's very nice. This and is then this, absolutely I mean... delicious. I mean, <laughs> look at this creation. I'm very happy. <laughs> so this, I think it's called Pagode. 
and you can get some beautiful views of the park up there Would I've heard. That? Yeah, I think I'd give that a go. I mean, it's not a drop right, so it's okay. <laughs> it's pretty high. It is pretty high. <laughs> so we just had our pancakes. They were delicious. <laughs> I actually was defeated. They're big. <laughs> they're bigger than they look. Yeah. And they're very filling, but they were really, really good. Really nice. I might try a sweet one next time. Yes, I want to try the banana and chocolate one or also they have one with waffles as well that I want to try. So we think we're going to leave vlog number one here. A huge, huge thank you for watching and a huge thank you to Le Shuttle and also Efteling for gifting us this trip. We are having the best time yeah. so far and we just can't wait to carry on, film it all. We've got so you. much more to come. Yeah. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and also subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Toodle Pipski.